This unit is about data acquisition. When we are talking about data acquisition, what we actually mean is that we want to make a copy of the digital information that is residing in the electronic media that we are investigating. So in, in real life, you're going to be handled a hard drive, flash drive, or any digital uh, media. You are about to investigate the information inside that media. In order to do that, you have to remember that the golden rule of forensics is not to modify the data that we have on the original evidence. So what we do is we make a copy of that data and analyze that copy and we leave the original media as it is. In data acquisitions, we're talking about acquisition methods. We are talking about digital evidence, storage formats. I will show you how to use some of the acquisition tools. Actually, we already saw one of those in the previous video about FTK Imager. What we did with FTK Imager, at least in the first part of that video, we did acquire the data from the evidence media. Another important subject is the validation of the acquisition, and I will explain that briefly. And we also will briefly talk about remote acquisition tools. So let's start by talking about types of acquisition. Acquisition of a data can be done statically and can be done live. What we mean by that is if the hard drive that is handled to us, the computer that we are investigating is turned off, then we can just attach to our forensics machine and from there create a copy of what we have on that media. So in this case, the computer is turned off. The hard drive itself can be taken away from that computer and attached to our forensics machine. And from there, we are creating a copy, a forensic copy, which means a bit by bit copy of that piece of media. Contrary to that, we have another kind of acquisition that is live acquisition. If you are in a situation where you come in to investigate a computer that is still on, then this kind of acquisition going to be live. We are not turning that computer off because there is two kinds of information on a computer. One is stored on the hard drive and the other kind is the one that is stored on the RAM. This kind of information on the RAM, once the computer is turned off, is lost forever. So depending on the case that you're investigating, this data in the RAM can be very important and it's always a good practice to acquire the data on the RAM. All the information that is volatile, that can be lost as soon as the computer is turned off, should be acquired in live acquisition. Now obviously in live acquisition going to be different rules that we will be dealing with. I'll explain that in a little uh, moment. Methods of acquisitions can be a bit stream disk to an image file, meaning we are making a copy of the drive, of the hard drive, or the flash drive, or whatever the media is, to an image file. So we are creating a file. That's the most used form or method of acquisition. The other one is we can create a bit stream from one disk to another disk, which we call also cloning the disk. We are making exact copy from one hard drive to another hard drive that we prepared previously and made sure that it's wiped and doesn't have any information previously stored there and we are making the copy like that. Third kind is the logical acquisition meaning we are acquiring not all the hard drive not all the media that we have but we are acquiring certain files on that drive. To give you an example, imagine that you are investigating a case of, that involves email and all the data that you're looking for, all the evidence that you're looking for is in a form of email. So you're looking for, let's say, PST files, archives that were stored on that computer. This is the file that you are after. You're not interested in all the data that is on that drive, but you are interested only on that PST file. So in this case, you're creating a logical disk to disk or disk to image data, meaning disk, disk to file data. Fourth kind, by the way, in this acquisition, the logical acquisition, we are copying only 
the file itself. We are not copying unallocated space. In the sparse data copy of a file or folder, we are doing the same thing that we did in the logical acquisition, certain files, certain folders, but also we are adding to that some of the unallocated space on the drive. Let's now talk since the most popular method of uh, acquiring the data is disk to file, which we call image. Let's talk about formats that we are storing those images in. There are three kinds of formats. The raw format, which is the first one, using the dd command, the Unix Linux command, we are creating an image, a raw image of the drive that we are investigating. And I'll talk in the separate video the following video about some of those methods. We're gonna talk about the DD, we're gonna talk about the DCFLDD and the DC3DD, three methods of raw formats. And the second one is the proprietary formats, meaning each company that's creating analyzing tool, analyzing forensics tool, they will create their own. If you played already with uh, ProDiscover, you know, for example, that the file that you're creating is with an extension of EVE, EVE. That's a, for, a format that's going to be understood only by ProDiscover. Other tools will not recognize it. Uh, you also saw in, when we talked about the FTK, you saw that we could uh, choose from three or four kinds of formats. And one of them was the expert witness format, the E01, the one I called the de facto, uh, the standard nowadays for forensics. The one that is in case, for example, is using and all other tools nowadays are accepting this format. Also, there was another one that was also open source, like the raw format called the AFF, the advanced forensics format. you see here in the newer uh, versions of FTK Imager, we have this as an option, the AF. In the raw format, we are creating, writing a bit stream data to a file. It is fast data transfer and it can ignore some minor data read errors on the source drive and most forensics tools can read and can accept that raw format can will be able to deal with an image that was taken with the raw format some of the disadvantages of this is as big as the original drive you need another drive that is as big in order to contain the data so it requires as much storage as the original data. Uh, some tools will not collect bad sectors. Some of them even will stop if they are faced with a bad sector. This is another disadvantage because we want the tool to be able to skip those sectors. One big deal with the raw format also is that it, you cannot put metadata there. You cannot put information about the case, about the investigator, date, name, things like that. All the metadata that we have on proprietary formats is not existing on the raw format. Another feature that is in the proprietary formats and not on the raw format is the compression. Sometimes I want to compress the data that I'm collecting. I am not interested of having the same exact size that I am investigating. A proprietary can split the image to smaller segmented files raw format can nowadays also and it can indeed integrate metadata into the image file some of the disadvantages is as i mentioned about the e format for example is that you cannot share images between different tools and there is file size limitation for for each segmented volume now let's see how we use acquisition tools. Again, let me remind you that the video about the FTK imager is one way and that's very popular actually. 
because you can create images with the E01, the expert witness uh, format, EWF. And in this video here, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Encase and how to use ProDiscover. Now, one very important thing about acquisition is we need to validate the acquisition. We need a way to make a signature of the file that we acquired that can be repeatable. And after we acquire it, we want to validate that nothing changed now on the copy that I have in my hands from the original data. And we do that in the use of hash. Using hash, which is a form of encryption, will uh, validate the acquisition for us, will validate the data that it was not changed. I have a separate video about hashing. Please see it. And the last subject that I'm talking about here is the remote acquisition tools. Sometimes, especially in organizations, corporations, we need the ability to have to acquire data even if we are not physically there. Now, the way that this is done, usually on the image of the computer that is given to everybody in the organization, we already installed an agent for our tool, for the tool that we are acquiring data with, to be there on the computer that whenever it's needed, we can just connect to the computer remotely and uh, acquire an image of the hard drive. Some of the tools that have this capability is uh, Encase Enterprise, for example, ProDiscover, uh, Smart from ASR Data, uh, Paraben Enterprise, and a lot others, a lot of others. So let's now go ahead and see what we can do, for example, with Encase. I'm going to start my Encase. Encase usually requires the dongle for it to work. But if you don't have the, the dongle, which is the, actually the license to use it, then Encase, as you see here, will start as uh, acquisition mode only. So you can just acquire data here. So let me start a new case. I'm going to call it a name, test123, and the path to that case is going to be under my uh, profile, under app data, temporary test123, test123 case. I'm going to hit OK, and now I'm going to say add evidence. I will attach the drive that I am investigating right now to my computer. Of course, in real life, you have to, to have write blocker, either software or hardware, in order to do that, because you don't want any changes again to the original uh, media. We don't want the operating system to be writing anything to that drive, and we don't want also by accident or by mistake to do something to that drive. I just attached uh, a flash drive here to my computer, and I'm going to click. I'm going to close this. I'm going to click on Add Local Device. If you have a Tableau write blocker, uh, Encase is capable of detecting that by itself. You can see only show the write blocked, and you can also acquire physical memory here, among the other things. But right now, I'm not checking any of these, because I don't have a Tableau, and I'm not interested in uh, my physical memory. I'm interested in this drive that I just attached to my computer. So I'm going to click Next, and it will start scanning my computer for all the drives that it have there. As you see here, it came back <clears throat> very quickly. I have only my C drive, and I have the D drive that I just attached. Let me just make sure that this is the D drive. So I'm going to go here. And I see here that the D drive is the flash drive that I just uh, attached to my computer. So I'm going to choose the D drive or disk number one, as opposed to disk number zero that my computer is working from. Here I'm going to click Finish. And <clears throat> the drive was added to the case right now, but I want to make an image of it. I will double click on the drive here and now as you see I can see 
the content of that drive but right now I am just interested in the acquisition itself so I'm gonna go here to acquire and click on acquire give it a name I'll call it test one two three evidence number one two three again case number same thing and here I'm gonna choose where the output path will be so let's choose this test 123 it's under a folder under my documents a folder called cases in case let's do it test one two three four just in case I have something else before and apparently I am and now I will click OK and if you notice here on the bottom right side you see a green bar that is advancing right now and says acquire so right now in case is making an image of my drive that I attached to the computer and notice what will happen immediately after it finished sorry notice on the bottom right side where it says acquire right now when it's finished it's gonna say something else just note it it's gonna be quick any second now see it says verifying verifying that image test one two three four that I just created this will go quickly and it is verified so now let me see the image itself instead of the volume itself now I will close my in case remove the flash drive and let me look if I have the image itself or not so if you remember it was under my documents cases in case and what I call test one two three four here it is so I just acquired that image in the textbook you have the example of creating an image with pro discover you have all the instructions there and should fairly very uh, easy to use uh, so please go ahead and do that and what we will do next from here is we're going to take a look at the raw formats and the raw format tools in the next video I will show you how to use DD, DCFLDD, and DC3DD. See you soon.